what's up guys this is the rifleman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire total war as venice and in this episode uh we fight what is possibly the greatest battle of the campaign uh more than thirteen thousand enemy troops it is there is an enemy coalition on the field which means both russia and poland will be able to bring a full stack of force enemy <laughs> enemy uh, forces into action against one of ours so before we kick off let's make sure we are make sure we are spreading out our um support options ultimately we're probably not going to need much foot artillery okay something like that a stacked unit of cruisers will be handy probably put some uh Okay, we've put one to have one force to have a lot of artillery coming in. Let's mix one to have more infantry coming in. Whoop, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. Uh, whoop, just a sec. Sorry about that. Uh, right, so in this army, there's really not a huge amount that we can bring to bear that'll be useful. So max out our um, most capable units. Something like that. Hey, you got twins. Uh, but yes, we are attacking, but we are probably going to be defensive to force them to come at us, because for a long time we're going to have the artillery advantage. These are horse artillery units, 12 pounders, they don't have any heavy horse guard artillery, and that's very good. So let's get to it. Yeah, we're going to need to fight um, defensively. We're going to want to make sure that we maximise our firepower, use our... Uh, howitzers and quickline to their fullest advantage because i expect uh, our troops are going to be falling thick and fast on this one i think our, uh, our foot artillery is going to focus on engaging enemy cavalry units our howitzers are going to be focused on engaging enemy infantry units and we might just have to suck up the enemy artillery fire we've got plenty of troops we should be okay but yeah, let's get set up. Come on, let us in, let us in. We should be okay. Um, ultimately, if we lose our first army, then our second army should be able to set up enough of a defensive position we don't get mobbed. Right, so here we are. A bit of nice, clear, uh, empty ground probably the way to do it okay right hmm. <laughs> put my artillery in the line four infantry units one two three four then I might keep one unit, artillery unit, out of the line just to give us a bit of uh, support behind the line. No, I think we'd rather be up here, but we're not advancing toward the enemy, that's for darn sure. This artillery piece may have to sit back here. On this one piece of relatively higher ground. Other than that, spread out our howitzers. To be fair, I might actually put them. I might actually put them both here. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. But with two enemy stacks on the field, you can't really go on the offensive. Our well, line's pretty good. Okay, heavy cavalry, light cavalry, general. Okay, so they're coming in right and straight ahead. I'm going to leave you guys where they are. Because they are actually coming in. So you might slightly readjust to follow the bridge. 
Regiment of Horse, Cossacks. Okay, let's make you guys switch to Quickline because that will soon be relevant. Actually, you might attack ground Quickline here because they'll be able to hit a lot of Russian units with it as soon as they come in. Oh, that's round shot. No good. The enemy cavalry attacks. Excellent quick climb hit, sir. Thirty fifth regiment. Four square. Bring out my regiment of horse. There's enemy cavalry coming in, enemy Lancer Guards. Excellent artillery fire. They've been broken. Okay, quick climb. Focus on the enemy infantry coming in. My regiment of horse go for their regiment of horse. Um, my foot artillery smash that Russian infantry concentration ahead of us. Let's move my heavy cavalry over to the left flank. You men form square. See if we can defeat one Russian army. Okay, so the round shot should start pounding into these guys. There we go. Kill the enemy general. Keep firing. Okay, enemy Don Cossacks cavalry are engaging. My line. The men reload. The militia should break pretty quick. Let's get my howitzers engaging their infantry that are going to engage us. So let's get both of these units to charge the 10th Regiment. There we go, they're quite low morale. Form up. Come on, my Regiment of Horse, beat them. My square are holding the enemy off admirably. The Polish army hasn't yet made it to battle. The Cerny Cavalry, Lancer Guards, they've got a lot of cavalry. Keep my gunners engaging useful targets. You get out of square, form line. These two units form squares. They bring my cavalry back. You guys get out of square. You guys hop into square. You guys hop into square. Your square might break. Just keep it. If you can hold it, you may lose men. In the meantime, but just hold it. At least until my cavalry is able to get back into position. Lancer well, guards are falling thick and fast. Get my heavy cavalry to abandon this engagement. bring some infantry back across to to fill in the gaps oh one of the one of the some of the cavalry ran through my line and now they hit my 
hit my uh, mo my mortars. That's not a terrible deal. Okay, quick climb, hit hussars. Commit the cavalry, all my infantry back into line. Form squares. This line infantry mob, those guys. Okay, this infantry unit can run. Form squares, the howitzers, engage the enemy here, my marines, engage the dragoons, cavalry run across, and then this regiment withdraw, form up a new line. These guys should fall to the uh, to the uh, squares pretty quick. There you go. So you guys are going to barrel through this engagement. We're going to keep you guys in. Smash the Chersky Regiment foot. I mean, I think the Howitz fire priority has to be the right flank. It's with all these squares, our firepower is minimal. Okay, you troops can run away. Okay, let's run my cavalry back into the line form a square because the horse guard are coming in hit the guard a cheval No, we don't need the general. They can withdraw. See, for reasons unexplained, the Don Cossacks were able to uh, break off. Yeah, let's start running. Troops over here. They're coming in from the opposite direction, though, so it's not ideal. But there's a good quick climb hit. Start running troops over to bolster this flank. Keep the howitzers firing. Don't worry about the left. The left is nearer the enemy reinforcements. Woods artillery start engaging some of these Polish troops that are coming in. Engage the Grenadiers, push the Marines along, push everyone along to try to free up the 17th Regiment. We don't need another foot artillery unit. There you go, so enemy units are breaking. Yeah, we don't need we don't need artillery at the present moment. Hit the Fusiliers. Bit of friendly fire here will be acceptable. Our cavalry unit's quite weak anyway. Excellent. Run our heavy cavalry out of the... We'll try run them out of the action. Excellent. The regiment of horse is on the way. My engineers still have a long way to go. Let's try fall our decent line infantry back. Actually, no, let's actually no, recommit them. There's an opportunity here to break most of this Russian army. Let's re-target quick climb.
Did these this unit smash the fusiliers? 160 odd hussars. There you go, my marines are broken. Foot artillery starts smashing the enemy infantry blocks that are advancing. Come in, heavy cavalry, smash the fusiliers. Let's retarget the howitzers against you, against them. You can go for Kamluks, they may well get into combat. Just buy me time. Hillary's engaging. Kamloops coming in. Are they charging? Maybe. Where's just in case? No, they are not. Put artillery, pound them. Retreat the infantry, such as it is. Regiment of horse, withdraw. Hussars, withdraw. Okay, let's start to re-engage the poles. Let's try to do some flanking. But I think it's actually possible. You may wish you men and get gang up on the 111th line don't need more howitzers limber the artillery up I think we need to start re basing our line Polish cavalry coming in isn't ideal. Okay, I think we need to pull back for the most part. Even form square for the horse grenadier guards coming in. Don't need another general. You just hold square, you'll slowly dig them out. Conscripts push up to engage the heavy cavalry. My line is going to effectively stay where it is for now. I'm going to slowly start forming up a reinforcement position, reinforcing position. stand for that. All the artillery. Let's try to get out of there. We're going to get rolled up. Just hold, 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 hold. Their only job is to not die so fast. Go on, General. Fight them. Probably going to lose some artillery, but that's okay. There we go. 
howitzers are coming in. But at least in theory, we are going to be in a a better position to reinforce this hill <laughs> than that previous army. Okay, weak artillery, weak cavalry unit. Let's try to snipe some artillery with them. Okay, let's try and withdraw some of these units to be useful. Let's try hold off like here. Okay, we finally got swamped in our original position. Grenadiers, advance. Don't worry, these men hold. Okay, are they going to try and chase us down? Hold the gaps. Not to be this how it's probably gonna have to go here and start opening up. Cavalry is continuing. Let's see if you can break away from those cuirassiers. I forgot about this lone cavalry unit. If I go for the 12 pound of foot. Skirmish of warband. Keep them up here for now. Form square, because we've got a couple of weak cavalry units attacking us. We've probably got an opportunity here. Uh, how it says uh, here. Just drop quick climb on the ground. Actually, try drop quick climb onto this regiment of foot. Another howitzer unit. If I get my conscripts in a position to actually do some shooting. Skirmishes engage the Kamluks. Excellent, they're out of commission. Form line. On scripts, the, the left flank is weak, but this is where I hope, I'm hoping I can get more of my reinforcing units in. Maybe you have to place skirmishes over here. Not ideal. You're going to have to unlimber where you are. So are you. We're going to need to start uh, engaging rapidly. Oh, you're right there, yes. Unsurprising the heavy cavalry smash that unit of conscripts, really. 12 pounder, go for the curiosity air. You're all gonna have to deploy here, it's a bit of a breakwater. Hold. 
and limber. Then we'd fall back again. Fall back into the trees. Get these grenadiers over here. They're going to go for my artillery and I can't stop them. I can give them a whiff of grape shot, but that's about it. Too late, you put your fidgeting. Push the Marines in. More howitzers coming in, though. Form square to deal with the cavalry. Maybe now you're engaged, so now you can form square. Keep, keep on attacking you up here. Do you engage that unit of line infantry? Pikeman, yes. Okay, where's my artillery? Yes, that's exactly where I wanted it. Because they keep charging in, and they are welcome to keep doing that. Grenadiers get involved over here. Form up a secondary line. Grenadiers go in against the provincial horse. Artillery engage the dragoons. Pound of foot, the former. Engage the uh, regiment of line that are advancing. I know you just unlimber where you are. Holy moly. Excellent. Hey, okay, cool. All right, you guys get out of the, get out of formation format. Line infantry get in here with the skirmishers. Grenadiers don't push up. You men advance up into this gap. Wood artillery get up to here. Heavy howitzers. Quick climb the engineers. 11th regiment, quick climb the 3rd regiment. Pikemen form a reserve in the event of cavalry attacks. Get the infantry into the line, get the warband to run around to the flank. 12 pound a foot. Smash the grenadiers. Unlimber. Line infantry. Run up to here. Foot artillery. Just keep pounding the enemy cavalry. Unlimber. Keep engaging, although we might be at a tipping point. So you get one unit to engage the Pachersky Regiment. Because these unit, this unit here, well they're pushing up into melee range. Go get them, pikemen. 
Demon engage the fifth. Marines advance to shore up the gap. Excellent, that's one unit broken. Okay, let's start to try and knock out some of these infantry units. That's right, go on engineers, route. Conscripts can get out to the enemy keeper general. Put a conscript unit out on the flank to try to get some fire support out here, or fire superiority. New men withdraw. Consolidate our line here so I can spread out my line here. Put artillery. Engage the fifth. You men engage the first. Okay, let's rotate this flank back a bit. Actually, yeah, let's shift you guys like so. Get the unit of marines in the center. Something like this. Okay, there we go. Our ammunition states are reasonable. Yeah, I think we've reached a tipping point. I think they've... Are you charging in or are you just going to shoot us? Just going to shoot. Oh, they're just mounting. Perfect. Okay. You man, attack the engineers. This unit is not unlimbered. Okay, how it's uh, go after the 21st Regiment. This unit go after... Use Liz via attack ground. That's where the blunderbuss shotgunners are running. The mercenaries are moving up. So many dead. We fell back to our defensive position. Okay, in foot artillery. Concentrate fire into this chunk. Ooh, Polish cavalry. Something like this. Let's get this reinforcing conscript unit over here. We don't want to get rolled up on like we did before. Not bothered necessarily about the regiment of horse. Polish troops still entering the field, but for the most part... Well, firstly, get my general out here. Hunt down some of these enemy artillery pieces. Oh yeah, you're coming in hot. Form square, bring out the pikes. General, go for that demi cannon unit. Go get them pikes. We've killed their general. Yeah, these guys are a bit more vulnerable. Switch to round shot, probably. Actually, what we want to do... Then 
run my pikes over here, run you away. Let's advance a couple of units up with how it's fire and support to deal with them. Then we can take up some more original positions. I don't care if our general dies and he start knocking out some of this artillery. Oh, we got killed by artillery fire from the demi cannons. Oh, stakes. Rats. Yeah, he died trying to kill the guns. Okay, let's use... I have to try and do some counter-battery. Well, no, actually, no. You don't have to do that. Okay, something like this. More fresh line coming in. 12 pounder back here. Maybe horse artillery is limbering up. Howitzers with round shots are going to be required. Well, actually, no, we can quick climb them. They are in quick climb range. At least for one of the howitzers. Let's quick climb the dragoons. form up actually we did say we we're going to give okay actually let's make you guys don't let's maybe you guys don't do that These conscripts might push forward and deal with this regiment of horse artillery. Our guys may actually have a chance of winning this. Is A, we're better, and B, they are not very good at melee fusiliers, but we'll see. Bit of a punt because those dragoons may kill us. Either way, if these guys are out, we'll get some reinforcement. We're getting more reinforcements in. Yeah, we're not going to get to the get to the guns. Those conscripts will be taken out by the dragoons. We're going to keep. We're going to hold them up and see if we can quick line them to death. Okay, howitzers, get shooting. Should we borrow their dragoons? Ideal. Now they're panicking. Yeah, so start smacking their forces moving up. Still have infantry advancing, which is really nice. Still got copious amounts of quick line, which is very nice. Excellent. Yeah, I think they're kind of bugged. They just don't want to move or advance, which is fine. Come on. 
how it says we're relying on you to do so much. Let's get my guerrilla mercenary. Might get my um conscripts to start going after their artillery. They may well die. There goes the militia. Our ammunition state is generally okay. Not terrible. You're actually firing over a hill. Pulling back some of their troops. Could we do with some cavalry? If we had some a couple of decent cavalry units, we would just sweep through the battlefield right now. Let's advance these two units forward to get within range of the mercenaries. Oh, more Polish troops. Worth the risk. Especially as their position is untenable. I think that might be them done though, which would be really useful. Let's actually form up a, a semi-competent infantry force on the left. We could advance up to the hill. I wouldn't be surprised if the Russian army is a bit bugged. You know, they're, um, they don't want to advance because they've actually not got many troops. Okay, if you're going to let us just run around and go after the howitzers, then thank you very much. Uh, the reinforcing units got him. I do think, though, we're in a position where we can start to push up. Well, actually, I can use my howitzers oh, to clean up those fusiliers. Use this howitzer unit with a round shot to engage the mercenaries. But I do think that's it. Well, they will tell when this clump um, exits the field. Broken, broken. Okay, let's, okay, let's speed up time and see how the enemy behaves. It appears as though they are I think they're done. But again, yeah, we need, to, we need these guys to leave first before we can be sure of that. These layers are being howitzered to death. Oh, actually, you guys are getting off some cheeky free shots, so let's push up. I just want to see these guys flee. Do we see any more troops entering? The battle. Because if that's the case, then we can begin the advance. You guys are gone. Oh, looks like it's going to be it. Oh yeah, they've advanced up. Push up to hit them in the flanks. Even advance, although some of you you can withdraw because you've got no ammunition. Okay, let 
it. Got a bit of an offensive. Let's see if we can kill that last general. You might as well give you guys orders to attack these respective gun teams. Go on, Russia. You should fall. You're only firing one volley at a time. Whereas we got three full ranks. at speed. There we go. Killed the enemy general. How it says, switched around sharp, bombard this unit trying to form square. Form square. There you go to square. You attack them. Advance right up into their face. Actually, actually, they are. Just form up and shoot. You want to get some cheeky kills, but after a lot of death and destruction. Yeah, we've pulled back to our hill, maintained our defensive position, slaughtered a lot of Poles and Russians in front of us. Artillery ceasefire. Actually, this artillery crew have come back. There you go, they broke before they could be engaged but we'll try and charge them anyway uh, we'll end it there Pyrrhic victory that may well be true um, but I still believe we're in a bit of an a slightly advantageous position yeah we took a real hammering there because all these troops yeah they've taken a lot of damage we're going to have to do a lot of combining and a lot of re-recruiting to build our strength up here but i think we are equal to the task we'll have enough troops nearby to do that uh, you can auto against that handful there so i believe this is the army it's probably going to be in the best position to continue the attack combine as much as we can so we've got two units here that we can pull out okay pull a bunch of infantry in just combine them all a couple of units left still bring the guns across Combine the artillery. Uh, no, I didn't want all of you, my mistake. Something like this. Oh. Just combine them. 155. 90, where'd you go? There you are. 22. Okay. 
avanti, in marcia. 38 into 74. I imagine this isn't entirely interesting for you guys, but I think it's it's really important that we try and just make whatever army we send to attack um, Warsaw, which is in range, is as strong as we can get. I think you need a cavalry unit. The only one you can get is this weak 11th Hussars unit. Put Warsaw under siege. Okay. Recruits. You're probably going to have to give up your troops. To Antonio. Well, they're actually... Yeah, once you've replenished... Recruited. Actually, let's combine you guys. You need a foot artillery unit and some cavalry. And we're probably going to bias towards heavier cavalry. Although we can't actually recruit too much heavy cavalry. Something like that. That's enough for you. You can only replenish whatever you've got. Hey, right now we're in a... Yes, we're a bit poor. Um, you're going to replenish and then attack for Dayasi. Our other offensive towards the, in the Russian rear has gone well. Apart from that, things are okay. Research is ongoing. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, I think that, that was a good victory. Uh, we're going to lay siege to Warsaw. We're not going to assault it. We're just going to degrade them somewhat. And then we can get ready for the push. Um, we do need to kind of keep an eye on our other borders, as is always the case, because you can never tell when the enemy will strike. It's entirely possible that we go for Warsaw and try and strike a peace deal. It appears the Russians are not going to try and defend Warsaw, which is fine. It's another turn of replenishment that can go on. There's some Persian troops coming up to our frontier, but not full stack, so that's okay. The Mughals are bringing an army up. That could potentially land um, near Iraq. But it remains to be seen what they're going to do with that. The pirates are pirating. 41,000 Catholic missionary in Anatolia. So you're going to Cherkask. We have another priest... Where is he? He was doing a big loop around, I was sure of it. They're not all the ones in Verona. Not all my rakes. So this is the new one. I'll send you to Astrakhan. I'm sure I had... Oh, he's in Iasi. I see. Right. Okay, so you've got a, a, a selection of new troops coming in to reinforce you. This army here is similar in that it demands cavalry. You should get a unit of heavy cavalry and a unit of cuirassier. Then two regular infantry units really will suffice. Excellent. Um, it's tempting to take Warsaw and try and s secure a peace deal. So you might go here. Your recruitment's ongoing. Your recruitment's ongoing. Three armies. Okay. 
Um, 37,000. Let's keep our port upgrade routines going. Prosperous commercial basin. We'll upgrade that. One second, guys. Uh, right. 27,000. It's a lot of money. I want to make sure that we use it. Might upgrade fortifications in Crimea because I suspect that they may send troops to try and kill us. Let's fortify it with some howitzers. Within spitting range of Cherkask, and you're within range. Well, not within range of Astrakhan. Let's send this agent on to Ufa. See what Russia's got going on. But yeah, I think I'd be tempted to try to take Warsaw. Force a peace deal with the Polish. And then start focusing on Russia a bit more. And take out Georgia as well. But then we can make sure we can start to make sure we don't forget about potential other adversaries. So does you. I mean Britain still holds the Venetian um port. Which isn't ideal. Might recruit some howitzers to give to this army in Naples, just so they're a bit more rounded out. Um, they could probably do with their own fortifications, because we need to hold that territory. Only got 2,000 left, so let's upgrade some buildings in Naples. We've got some new techs. Yeah, slowly converting the people here. So actually that means this agent, who's doing a superb job, can go on ahead to Ufa. Just start converting these peoples to our religion, just to try and ease the transition. Port blockaded. New national leader. Okay, ministers. We have some garbage ministers. Plus one army, minus... So you're just rubbish in general. Plus one treasury. That's a good start. My justice minister. Plus one treasury. Okay, you're even better for the treasury. Honest. Plus one. Plus one. You're just rubbish as well. Oh, no. Sadly, I think we need to do this. You're not terrible for the army, but we, you have to get rid of my Secretary of the Navy. Bon vivant. Okay, let's swap you guys. It's the, it's the reduction in upkeep that I really need. To be honest, I need lots of these guys being uh, thrown out of government. If I can take Poland, if I can take Warsaw, force a peace with Poland, because I don't, I don't like how Spain's running around. Uh, no, not giving you anything, Prussia. Not giving you anything. You'll come steal our technologies, though, won't you? Poland is sending emissaries to the Far East, although I don't think it'll help them. Yeah, they, they can raid regions in Crimea, that's fine. I just don't want to lose it. Can't work out what they want to do. But I think if we take Warsaw, we'll be able to get peace with Poland. And then we can potentially take Königsberg. Then we'll have surrounded the border with Prussia. I think Persia bringing up... Oh, don't attack me, Mughals. Don't attack me, Mughals. That would be very mean of you. 35,000. OK, 
Okay. Very poor, very poor. Very poor. Poor, very poor, very poor. Okay, but let's keep my fort building going. Prosperous here, that's very good. Oh, I meant to do this, didn't I? What I can do, effectively, is go around that chap and just go after the capital, which we will set up to set up to do at the end of this episode. There you go, two full strength armies. Exceptional. You're still replenishing. You, yeah, your troops are on the way. 23,000. Create the water mill. Did not going to worry about upgrading uh, any anything here. Yeah, you've got the Chikask. Can you demand the surrender of Chikask? No. So we'll have to fight it. Um, actually, it's quite an open territory, really. That will be quite useful to take. And in terms of tech, I think we're at a point now where I don't really mind what they go for. We've got all the philosophical texts, the industrial texts, where they are ticking through. I don't mind getting population bonus upgrades. I think I want to get the National Academy, the Naval Board, and the Engineer School, however so that we can keep researching um, down rather than across. 7,600. Okay, let's set up a Nieho Bruno to attack Ayasi, because looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Georgian Empire. Cheers, everyone.